welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Golden Disc Collection Chapter 1, Puffer and Road Ranger. And it looks as if though there's a brand new Datsun mold in town, as Huffer has now had a total of four different retools slash repaints. Although I will be honest and say that these guys are in fact actually pretty interesting. Now for the most part, they are in fact just repaints of both Pipes and Huffer with brand new head sculpts. But I think they look really, really awesome. Now we'll start off firstly with my least favourite out of the two, that being Road Ranger. And it's mainly down to the fact that this is essentially just the Huffer mold, the inferior mold out of the two in my personal opinion but I do really love the colour scheme that is one thing that this has definitely got going for it you can see we've got this incredibly fiery orange burst effect going on with some really nice looking red paint apps and you can also see that we have indeed now got a brand new head sculpt now to me this looks rather drone like I actually really like how this looks though to be fair you can see completely cast out of orange plastic we've got some nice orange paint here for the mouthpiece which does in fact differentiate it from the rest of the sculpt as well as some really nice red beady eyes as we turn our attention to the rest of the figure the arms sadly have got a little more going on for them than I would like so once again I do wish that in some ways they could have used the pipes or puffer arms but nevertheless you can see some really nice metallic silver paint all of the paintwork here for the torso looks great you can see there nice autopoint insignia as well as some pretty decent looking sculpt work some silver here and then as we just turn our attention down to the lower section of the legs you can see once again very nice looking sculpt work albeit just this time cast out of both black and orange plastic as we spin our attention here to the back sadly we do in fact get that really weird foot design it would have been great if they could have slightly retooled this but considering when pipes came out we didn't get this retooled I guess for this particular pack it was literally a no chance and considering this is in fact the Huffer mold you cannot actually reverse this here at the top which actually isn't a bad thing for this particular character. Now in regards to accessories we do get the same I believe it's supposed to be an almost Spartan laser you can see this has been painted in a really nice metallic silver looks awesome by far one of my favorite gun designs that we've gotten from the War for Cybertron trilogy so far really really looks cool and then of course we also do get this riot shield or the shield blocker with the tiny little vent here so that he can in fact actually look through this if in combat which which is definitely a pretty awesome concept. You can see this has been completely painted here in silver with some nice gunmetal highlights here at the top. And I'll go through the articulation here on Road Ranger and skip it for Puffer, just as it's exactly the same. So we do get a ball joint here at the head, which can look left to right, up and down, tilt side to side slightly, full rotation here at the shoulder, as well as a hinge joint out to the side. So if I just remove the shield, we also do get a full rotation there at the actual bicep, 90 there at the elbow. We do get a rotation here at the waist. Legs can kick forwards that far, back to that far, out to the sides, rotation at the thigh, past 90 due to transformation. And finally, we do get a really good ankle rocker pivot, but once again, a very, very ugly looking hinge joint. Now, if we just set Road Ranger here off to the side for now and take a look at Puffer, his actual bio is incredibly interesting. This guy is in fact supposed to be an amalgamation of both Pipes and Huffer. Apparently, they get fused in some sort of timeline and it results in here Puffer. And it's a really, really cool looking concept. You can see the entire body is just essentially pipes but we do get a brand new head sculpt of course to make him now puffer and that looks really cool much like road ranger it is very drone like in terms of design there really isn't much character to it it merely just has a face guard and a red visor which i will be honest and say the paint apps are slightly shoddy at least here on my particular copy but you can see the torso design looks fantastic of course considering this is the pipes reissue weirdly there's a very different contrast in terms of some of the plastic so we get this very nice premium white here for the front and then some of the joints have been cast in this really odd almost creamish color i'm not sure why they didn't just go all out and cast it in white as it definitely does look rather unusual you also see more of that plastic used here for the fires it doesn't look bad by any stretch of the imagination but personally i would have preferred the whole figure at least for the torso to have been cast out of white but you can see for the arms we get the much more simpler design so not as much going on as road ranger and of course huffer but we also do get the pipe blasters this time instead of painted in silver they've been painted in black not sure why they weren't just cast out of black plastic you can clearly see the gray pegs there but pretty nice looking details going on for this all the way down to the legs once again very similar to road ranger just cast in blue and then as we turn our attention here to the back we've now got the modified roof section so you can reverse this so if you wanted this to in fact actually sit like it does on huffer and road ranger you could reverse this here at the top and have that angled so they really do look like twins now you can see there pretty much looks exactly the same from the front besides the torso now you can see here that we get these weapons you can either store them on the arms or you can in fact actually wriggle these pieces off and slide them there into the hands which is pretty awesome and for a very quick mold comparison here we've got the brand new golden disc collection puffer and road ranger compared next to both of their mold mates pipes and huffer and once again you can definitely see the similarities and differences between pipes and puffer is essentially just a difference in head sculpt and of course color variation and the same can also be said in regards to road ranger and huffer if i had to choose out of all four of these as to which is my favorite i would definitely choose pipes night and day i think this guy's really really cool the overall color palette looks awesome the white plastic is great the silver cannons also look really cool and i just love the paint apps that we've got going on here for the hood and unlike puffer you can in fact actually see that pipes has got complete white plastic 
specific here for the thighs as well as for the torso so maybe it was in fact just a design choice instead of perhaps cutting corners but once again I do think that at least in my opinion it does look slightly unusual to have the torso white and then some of these hinge joints lower down to be completely cream you can see here that this joint's white but these pieces on the side are cream it looks rather unusual and you can also see that to be completely honest with you I do find that Road Ranger and Puffer's heads are a little generic when in comparison to Huffer and Pipes but actually comparing these two I guess you could call this an almost battle mask look for Huffer if you really wanted to but definitely overall a pretty nice set in terms of repaints without further ado let's get down to transformation and take a very quick look at them in their vehicle modes now for the transformation considering I've already showcased this twice over on the channel we'll merely just be converting one figure this time that being Puffer just as he's essentially the same as Road Ranger albeit with a different modification made here to the back so to begin with you're just going to want to separate the cannons we can then come here to the legs fold these panels here up and clip them into place we can then snap this in and then come here to the back and ensure that this is also tapped into place turn your attention to this region disengage this take this piece rotate this all the way around take the head and in fact rotate it here to the back we can then hinge these sections down flip these pieces forwards snap that there into place and you can see that we've got some tabs here that will in fact actually slide into some slots here so just align these up appropriately shoot that in there and of course repeat the same process rotate at the bicep and then just fold the wrist in and repeat the same process here for this side so just fold that in and try your best to align these up appropriately so that they are in fact symmetrical we can then take this region these tiny two tabs would in fact slide into these slots on the back of puffer's butt and then finally you can see we've got two tabs here and here that would in fact slide into these slots so just shift this here snap these into place just like so on either side and then for some finishing touches you can either take the pipe weapons and actually peg them here onto the side or my preferred method is to just snap them into the back of the trailer hitch and that is essentially the transformation here for puffer and the same can also be applied to road ranger only we don't have the reversal of the front of the truck for the robot mode and so here we have both puffer and road ranger fully transformed up into their semi trucks now this should be fairly straightforward as for the most part they look pretty much identical in this particular form the major difference is merely just going to be the color variation i will be honest and say that i think road ranger looks absolutely killer with that smoky red plastic that we've got going on here for the windscreen and of course the black and the metallic silver highlights too are actually thoroughly thoroughly impressive you can see here for the front that's all turned out super nicely we've got some nice gun metal there and as we just spin our attention here to the back of the figure you can see that the actual spartan laser splits into two components in order to almost create an almost truck bed and you can see how the shield also inserts here onto the back but just taking a look you can see the tail lights picked out in red they do in fact have different wheels so you can just see that the actual ones that we get for road ranger are a little more complex in terms of design than the ones here for puffer and just very quickly taking a look at puffer you can see it's more or less the same just the difference in colour, so some nice pale blue used here for the headlights, metallic gunmetal silver, and of course considering we don't get the Spartan laser, we don't have as much of a cool truck bed, but we do get the pipes which store here, and both of these figures are in fact compatible with Earthrise Prime, and both can roll along the ground with absolute ease, and really really do look pretty awesome here in truck form, and once again for a very quick mould comparison, here we have both Puffer and Road Ranger compared next to Pipes and Huffer, and they're exactly the same in vehicle mode, so once again you can see these two figures identical in terms of mould it is merely just the color which varies and to be fair i actually really love the darker plastic that we've got going on here in comparison to the orange that we had on the inside of huffer's blaster and as we just very quickly take a look between puffer and pipes you can see these two also completely identical in terms of mold even where the weapons end up it is just of course that color variation so overall it really just comes down to personal preference as to what you guys want in the collection we all know that this particular set is slightly obscure i personally would have expected this to be in perhaps the generation selects line instead of an almost carryover from the the Galactic Odyssey collection as these guys really are quite obscure when in comparison to some of the characters that we got in the Galactic Odyssey collection but that's not to take anything away from them I think they are pretty cool repaints and for those of you who are into these more unusual lesser known characters then I think you're really going to like this but just personally for me if I wasn't a reviewer I probably wouldn't have picked this set up just as I don't really have any emotional attachment to the characters themselves I will say that they are cool repaints but the actual mold in general seeing as it's based on Huffer isn't the best as it is and I really think that if you want this mold in the collection then I would definitely recommend to track down pipes just i think that overall in terms of robot mode vehicle mode and just the color variation he is by far the best but if you really want to complete this golden disc collection then i definitely wouldn't say this is a bad set by any stretch of the imagination i just wouldn't pay scalper prices and would merely pay retail or if you can actually get it cheaper then definitely pick it up i would love to know down in the comment section below on what you think of this set out of all four of these molds so far which one is your favorite redeco slash retool and as always until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching